What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you another insane trading method to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 20. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. It helps me out a ton and you'll be entered into the FIFA points giveaway I'm going to be doing at 1,000 subscribers. So with that said, please subscribe and let's jump right into this method. So this guys, it's an interesting one. People have been doing it for a while, but I have never really looked into it much. But lately I've been trying it out and it has been working wonders for me. So guys, basically the basis of this is 82 rated players. And guys like Arnautovic, you're going to be looking for these 82 rated players that you can pick up for around like 900 coins. So guys like Marco Ar Arnautovic... Pacheco, guys like this, 82 rated again. Uh, so basically, their buy now is about a thousand. You're gonna be able to get them on bid for 900 easy. And what our idea here is, it, we're gonna be selling the lazy buyers. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's just these people with a ton of coins that they'll just like they don't really look for the lowest price in a player. They'll just like compare price or something, and then just buy one that looks close enough to the price. So we're going to be taking advantage of those people with this method and trying to make a ton of coins. So let me show you kind of what we're going to be doing with a pretty good player here. Uh, one that I want to do is someone like Alexis Sanchez. So as you can see here, he's going about a thousand coins there. There's one there for a thousand. It's been up nine minutes. So if we go over to bids here, and I'm just going to try to win as many of these on bid as possible. And basically the, this entire method is just bidding. So there's no need to kind of like mass bid in terms of like going a bit higher and not keeping up with your bids. We're gonna keep our bids consistent on this one and we're gonna bid on as many players as possible is our first step here for less than 900 coins pretty much. So basically I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you guys some of the 82s I like to do this with. I talked about some there, Arnautovic, Pacheco, uh, there's some ones in there that won't, that won't work right now because they're Premier League ones and the Premier League rare golds are up in price. Um, guys like Mata and Torreira are really good for this, but unfortunately because of the new Premier League upgrade SBC, they're up in price a ton. Ooh, there was actually a coach there for 750 Okay, someone bought him up. So basically, we're going to be trying to pick these guys up for as cheap as possible on bid. 950 I don't really want to go on those guys because we saw these coats they were going they were selling pretty pretty slowly for a thousand it looked like so after that another one I like here I'm sorry if I keep looking at the camera for you guys I am on footbed on the laptop as well that I'm recording on if we go to Quincy Promes here let's check his price um Dang, so he's also selling a thousand coins, so we'll be p able to pick him up 900 easy. After this, I want to go check my bids because we do want to keep up with them. Someone bidding 900 on him. He is a really solid investment. There is a left wing Dutch from the Eredivisie for a thousand coins, so he could be a good one for you guys to invest in. But that's not what this is all about. Let's go check our bids here, see what we've been able to win. Ah, someone bought him for a thousand, but again, lazy buyers, guys. Someone purchased him. They could have gotten him a bit cheaper if they wanted to. So we want to keep up with our bids here, but I do want to con continue to show you good players here. Um, someone like Mattia Perrin. Oh, let's check his buy now here. I'm guessing he's under a thousand as a goalkeeper here. So the goalkeepers are obviously going to be a bit cheaper as they are with pretty much anything else here. So he's selling about 900 there. Honestly, I'd be willing to pick him up on bid for 800. That is not bad at all. So we're going to throw some bids down here for. Wow, 750 maybe. Just throw 700 on all these guys. Hopefully we get them. And basically, guys, I want to show you in the next step after we win a couple of these what we're going to do to try and get lazy buyers to buy these. So the idea here with these 82s is they're kind of needed a lot in SBCs. So basically, there's a ton of people with kind of these jacked up accounts, maybe big content creators, streamers, that just want to get these in and get kind of upgrade pack SBCs done as quickly as possible so they're not going to spend the time to look at these guys and kind of get them for the cheapest price possible they just want to buy these and get them in their club asap so we're going to go look at the price someone like alexis sanchez we're going to go look at the price here and his price is probably looking about 1100 coins i know we checked it a minute ago so yeah he's about 1100 coins here so we could easily sell these 
for 1300 probably. It might take like two listings, but we could definitely sell these for about 1300 a piece. 1200 they'll sell on the first listing. 1300 they'll go. But the idea with the 82s is that they get purchased so much that there's so many lazy buyers with these that you're going to make a ton of coins off of them. So you just want to make sure you're winning as many on bid as possible and you keep refilling your transfer list with these guys. And the idea is that you want to have just as many cards circulating as possible. 950, I'm not going to go past that. I can just buy them for a thousand if I want to. And the best part about this, guys, is you don't even need to like kind of bid on these like I am. You could just buy now and then sell to lazy buyers. But the idea with the bidding here is you're going to get them a bit cheaper. You're going to make a bit more coins. So with my 82s, personally, I, I like to just list them all up for 1200 when I'm getting them for 900 It makes the circulating a lot more. It makes your transfer list not fill up, especially if you're like storing extra items on there. You're doing bronze packs, things like that, like I am. My, my transfer list tends to fill up pretty quickly when I'm keeping busy with certain things. And as you see, lazy buyers that are promised 1100 someone purchased them for. So these lazy buyers do come in and they buy up so many of these. So if we just keep listing our players for 1200, we're gonna to continue to sell these guys at a fantastic rate. So lazy buyers, especially this time of year with team of the season, so many people are doing upgrade packs, two player packs, just anything like that. So we're gonna to continue to make tons of coins off of these lazy buyers. And I wanna to continue to show you some of these 82s. So I've started to win these on bid, as you can see here. So we might miss out on some of those as I'm showing you some of these other players, but it is good to check these. So to find these players, if you want to kind of look into them more, I tend to first just go to Footbin and I put 82 rated players and I just go max a thousand coins. And then I'll just kind of look through that to start and kind of bid on all those players for 900. And then you can start to like up your price, maybe go to like max 1500. Now those guys, obviously you're going to have to lazy sell for a bit more coins, but they're still very good profit. So another one here didn't really say anything is Balotelli. Um, another one that's going to be very good and a goalkeeper is LeCompte. He gets great links like Perrin does. He's a bit more expensive as well. So he's selling a thousand. We'll sell him 1200 easy. Hopefully we can pick him up for 900 coins a piece. So you might be thinking you're only making 300 coins a card. But again, guys, we just bid on all these guys real quick. And we do that with 100 cards. Just get our transfer list circling through, which is why we list them up for 1200. We're able to get these guys flowing really quickly. We're not stuck relisting them tons of times. So basically, you just do that for 100 players, and that's a quick 30k for you. It's it's not really difficult, to be honest. It's a, it's a pretty straightforward method. It's just that... It takes some commitment to doing it. It takes a little bit of time to get it done, but it's just kind of a really laid back thing as well. Like it's not, it's not difficult to do. So another good one here could be Mario Fernandez. Again, going a thousand coins will be easy to pick up for nine hundred. No doubt we can get them for cheaper as well. Maybe even eight fifty, like this person is trying to pick them up on bid. But yeah, in a lot of these, you might even pick up on open bid, like I am as late at night right now. So I might get a few of these guys for nice and cheap as well. So we pick up a bunch of bunch of wins on bid here. So we're just, again, we're gonna list these guys all for 1,200, and I guarantee you they're gonna sell. Especially someone like Alexis Sanchez, Perrin that get great links, and even Arnautovic, being someone that's not from a, from a good league. If you just need like an 82 rated card and something, he ends up in the top solution in Footbin a lot. So he is one that that will sell a lot. Maybe he'll go up in price at certain times when SBCs are released. And he'll just kind of get, he'll like have a nice price, spike in price just because people want to get any sort of 82 in to their uh, their SBC team. Hope we can get that Fernandez there. As you can see, we're winning tons of these. And again, guys, I can list these up for like 1,000, 1,100 coins and sell them instantly. But the idea here is to sell them to lazy buyers. And you can up your price here. Like you could go about 1,400 here and sell any 82 for 1,400 coins. But again, my idea is I want to get these circulating through my transfer list as quickly as possible. Get these guys out of my transfer list. I don't want them clogging up my, my max space there too much. So I just kind of list them for a bit cheaper. We might even get some of them to sell here before. And now when what lazy buyers do is these always sell. So you're going to list it up for an hour and they'll always sell within the last couple minutes of your listing. because. 
when you search for players on the market, the first thing that shows up is the guys that are closest to expiring. So that's when uh, that's when your players are going to sell the most is when it's just at the end of the hour that you're listing at. So it's pretty much you'll have to wait to sell most of these, especially when you're selling to lazy buyers like I am. See, like we're going to be making at least 300 coins a card here, and it's so easy. Obviously, nothing's sold yet because like we're selling to the lazy buyers, nothing's gonna sell quickly, but we're filling up our transfer list very quickly with all these guys we want on bid, and they're gonna go for a ton very soon here. So we just keep bidding on all these guys, and we've been winning so many cards here, and it's just really about keeping up with your bids, making sure you're getting these guys, and what's gonna help you out is kind of being on late at night like I am. You're gonna win a lot of these on bid, and then you're going to sell them to lazy buyers a lot more if you hold them to the next day and then kind of list them up like 1,300, 1,400 coins and you sell them at kind of peak times during the content drop, stuff like that. There's a lot more people online buying these cards, so you're going to sell them a lot faster. So the idea here is just getting these guys on bid for cheap, selling them for a bit more to lazy buyers, and the time you buy and sell is also very important to how quickly you're going to be picking these guys up like I am, and then selling them, which is going to go a bit slower for me, but I guarantee you at the end of the hour, at least five to ten of these guys that I've picked up have sold, because there's always going to be people on this game. It's such a popular game that no matter what time you're on, there's going to be people looking to buy these players, especially even people that aren't smart enough to kind of get these guys for nice and cheap. And as you can see, we're picking these guys up for crazy prices. And as I said, even if you don't believe in really selling to lazy buyers, if you're not really interested in that, you're going to be able to sell these guys still at profit, winning these on bid, because a lot of people don't really think to bid on these 82s. Someone like Alexis Sanchez, his minimum price is 1100 here. We're winning him for 900 So it's very small coins, which I'm not really interested in something that small of profit, but you're still going to be getting like a ton of coins out of it if you do a lot. It's just selling to the lazy buyers is far more efficient, and I definitely recommend. So those are kind of the 82s I've showed you. Guys I like to do with this, do this with the most are the 82s that stay at kind of a low price, but right now they're up in price because of the Premier League SBC. My two favorites are Juan Mata there from uh, Manchester United, and then the next one is going to be Lucas Torreira from Arsenal here. These are two of my favorite 82s to do this with. Some other guys that I really like as well, um, Maguire is another one, Harry Maguire. He's a bit more expensive, but really, really popular for SBCs. These guys that are popular in SBCs are really good for this as well, which is why I do also like someone like Coates. He gets good links, even though he's from the Portuguese League, so he's a good one. And then another 82 I like to do this with is Rugani. Now, 82 rated cards are always going to be able to sell like 1,200 coins or more, no doubt. So someone like Rugani could still even be a good one for us to do right now. Let me check his price here. So he's going about 1500 So if I'm picking him up on bid for 1300 and then selling him 1800 we're still going to make good coins off of that. Don't really want to go any higher than 1300 So guys, that's kind of the, the premise here of what we're doing. Getting these 82 rated cards, I kind of want to check my club and see... Oh, I just thought of one actually that I did invest in before one that i just really like uh santi cazorla this guy usually hangs out around a thousand coins as well which is surprising since he's a spanish center mid from the la liga so about 1200 coins there so you're probably gonna have to bid a bit higher maybe go a thousand coins on him here although not very many bids on him here someone picking him up 700 this guy's gonna be devastated that i'm getting him in <laughs> that i'm uh, kind of screwing him over here he was gonna have a lot of these on bid for 700 but yeah, we're just going to try to pick these guys up here. Again, we miss out on some here. Ah, that Fernandez would have been a good buy for us. But miss out on him. Again, miss another, but it's not a big deal missing these guys because we are still getting a ton of cards. And as you can see, we win five cards right there, not even doing anything. So we're going to list all of them up, 1,200. Boom, boom, boom. And again, all of these guys are going to sell. It's just not really difficult to do this. It's a nice laid-back method. It's, it's a quick flipping method for you guys that aren't really into like the consistent sniping kind of thing, making sure you're 
you're really focused in. You don't really have to be focused when you're doing this. You can just kick back, maybe watch a stream or something, watch me stream, which I'm going to be starting soon, so get ready for that. And then just kind of make the coins. It's it's not difficult to do here with this. So I'm going to go 1,000 on Kazorla, actually, because he is selling 1,200. We get a Rugani there, 1,300. So I'm probably going to go ahead and list him 1,700, probably. He'll definitely sell to lazy buyers for that. So again, guys, just picking these guys up at the right price, selling for the most. So quick wrap up here. We're picking up 82 rated cards, especially guys that get from good le leagues, good nations that get good links for these SBCs. And basically, we're looking to take advantage of these lazy buyers, just guys that have a ton of coins, don't really look for the cheapest prices in these players, and they're going to be buying them for a bit more. So we're going to list our players up for more than they go for, pick them up for a little bit less than they go for, and all of that in between is going to be our profit there. So just make sure you're buying for cheap, selling for more, and just making a ton of coins out of this. So if you guys have any questions on this, make sure to drop it in the comments down below. I'll make sure to uh, reply to you guys. Make sure any questions you have don't go unanswered. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the giveaway I'm going to be doing, and I'll catch you in the next video.